What is up, expats? It is day number 11, Riga, Latvia. That's initially, oh, wow. We really enjoyed our time here in Riga. Yeah, Riga was absolutely incredible. The people, the people in Riga were so nice. Uh, basically, everywhere we went into, we had interactions with the locals, and they were great. Yeah, the people were really nice. So that was something that was really cool. Uh, we found that English was pretty easy. A lot of people spoke it, so it was easy to get around. And then just realistic talking to them about life in Riga and what it would be like if we moved here because we're considering that. Yeah, we're definitely considering that. Uh, it's a place that is on our list, pretty high up the list. Even before visiting, we thought, okay, it looks like a place just from Google Images and whatnot. But now after being here, yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely flown to the top of the list. Mm -hmm. So what did you like about Riga? I think, I know in the past, the cities that we've gone to, I've kind of mentioned I like the, the old and the modern mixed together. Um, but Riga was a bit more old, like the old town, but old, charming, and kept up really well. So even when you get outside of the old town, it still has this old type feeling, not super modern with like skyscrapers and glass windows, things like that. Um, and I think I really like that. What about you? Yeah, well, let's talk a little bit about kind of what we did today, and then and then we can get into that. So we got off the boat, and we made our way downtown city center, historic city center, found a map, and let the map guide us, really. Uh, we went into a cafe that was actually, we, we didn't know if it was a cafe or bar. It turned out to be both. Yeah, it's both. I yeah. guess it's a, it's a cafe during the day, a bar at night. Really cool little spot called Spot. <laughs> yeah. uh, we spoke to Nikki, the bartender there. Uh, he was great. Uh, gave us a lot of good information on what life is like there, what the cost of living is like, what it is to rent a flat for the month, and then also what kind of the average or maybe a slightly above average wages per month. And that was really helpful. And the interaction with him was really good. So thanks, Nikki, at uh, Spot Cafe Bar, Bar Cafe. We really appreciate the info. Mm -hmm. And that was down in the old town where you can kind of just get lost uh, winding throughout the streets. There's lots of churches and cool buildings to see along with different squares that have restaurants, cafes, and things are just out. Everyone's buzzing around. Really cool. Yeah, so you'll get this map at the tourist information stand and you can really just follow number by number and hit all of the sites up. If you have more time, you know, obviously you can go into the museums, go into the basilicas and check those out or churches and check those out. But we just decided to check out the facades, the architecture, and then move along. And definitely don't stop in the old town. You want to get outside of that because outside of that looks very different. Definitely. So you want to check out both to get a good feel of the city. And the scale's pretty small, so it's easy to walk around the old town for a little bit and see what's going on there and then just to get out. And you can see that on the map as well. Yeah, so after covering the, the, the major points of interest in the city center, the historic city center, we decided to trek out a bit, and we had looked up what were the top cafes in Riga, and we came across Cafe M, and Cafe M is purported to be a zero-waste cafe, meaning that they don't waste anything. It's very new, and we met Ula. She's one of the owners there, so it's cool to kind of see how they're starting off and what their vision is and what they're doing. Get this, she had been an expat in Singapore for six years. We made mad connections. We were talking so much about different spots. And have you tried this cafe, that cafe? It was awesome. Yeah. So we loved it. Thanks for letting us uh, pop in and see you, Ula. Yeah, we didn't know that, that anything that about her connection with Singapore until we got there. And then we saw like a Singaporean flag. And so we were very curious. And so it was a really cool connection. After hanging out with her in the afternoon, there was one other area that we wanted to check out. Ooh, what about the concept store? Yes, before we got to M Cafe, yeah. we actually stumbled across this place called Image House, yep. a concept store. 
Yeah, so in there, what, maybe you guys don't know what a concept store is, but basically a concept store or lifestyle store has a mix of things going on. So it could be fashion, it could be grooming, like you can get your hair cut or your nails done in there. It could be a cafe, uh, interior design, art, co-sharing space or co-working space. Well, this one had a mix of things and we decided to pop in and check out what the Riga scene was like. And they had this cute little cherry dessert that we got. They had some really cool, unique desserts, and we got this one that looked like a cherry. It was cool. It was delicious. Mm -hmm. And they also had a clothing shop. And upstairs, they had what looked to be interior design. Yep. So downstairs, we ended up talking to a couple of locals. Both of them have actually been expats. One of them, we caught her name. The other one, we didn't. Victoria, uh, thank you so much for chatting with us and letting us know more about Riga and then also what your life was like when you lived in Amsterdam. Yeah, so everyone be on the lookout for that. We're going to try to get an interview with Victoria about being an expat in Amsterdam. Yup. Okay, so continuing on, we decided to push a little further to see more of the kind of outer part of the, the city center. It's still the city center, but a little further out. And we came across Rocket Bean Roastery. Mm -hmm. Another one that was on a, the list of good coffee shops that we found. There's lots of cafes and coffee shops, actually, in Riga. Yeah, great coffee scene, it, it seems, and uh, we just had a blast there. So at Rocket, we got a bag of coffee. Here's the bag of coffee. And then from Rocket Bean, we went into the Arch District and walked around for a little bit. All right, this is getting too long. Sorry. Uh, we've come to that time where I've got to ask that question. Would you expat that? Dun, dun, dun. Kaylee, would you expat Riga, Latvia? I think that this has gotten so long because we're so excited about Riga, which means 100% I would expat that. You? Absolutely. I uh, would expat that all day and all night. Listen, the cost of living seems to be really, really low, and the, the things that you can get for your money are phenomenal. It seems like they've got a lot going on. There was quite a variety. We saw an Uzbekistani restaurant. Um, I saw Thai, all the cafes. Um, so it looks like they have a lot going on. The people are really nice, seem to speak English. Uh, I don't think it'll get super cold during the winter, but we'll see about that. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I really liked it. Loved it. Everything she said. Boom. That was day number 11. That was Latvia. That was Riga. Tomorrow we head to Tallinn, Estonia. Day number 12. Bye. See ya.